theme is travel, and that is a wonderful theme. Not only is Anthony gone, but I just got back from Disneyland yesterday. I had a wonderful weekend. I got to experience a few paradigm shifts of my own. This is very good at doing things. I'm going to talk to you tonight about paradigms and perspectives. Things that usually happen. Uh, never mind. You're getting there. You're getting there. Paradigm is it's a way of thinking. It's a lens that you look through something, and that's the way you see it. We all have paradigms because we go to class, we have our majors, and we are taught to think of something a certain way. And what I'm going to talk to you about tonight is the challenge you of changing those paradigms around. I want you to be able to think yeah, of a special effect there, big budget, not quite Disney budget, but big budget. Changing those paradigms around. Why? Because that's the only time people get smarter. What do I mean by this? Who, who here has heard of Watson and Crick? Watson and Crick described the double helix of what we now know as DNA. When they said it, they were sort of denounced as crazy. People did not picture DNA in that way. This is a revolutionary weird way of saying that that's what DNA is shaped like. They were changing the paradigms. So did Galileo and Newton when they described that the maybe the Earth is going around the sun. That also was a way of changing paradigms. But let me give you a visual example. Go back to Disneyland. Who here has been to one of the Disney properties somewhere in the world? So this is, I think, this is Disney World. I'm not positive about that. When you go down the main street, that's the first land that you enter, the castle looks quite close. It seems that way, even though it's in the very center of the park geographically. When you turn around and you're headed at the end of the day and you're tired and you've stood in line for 16 hours and you're going to the back and all the ice cream looks good and maybe shopping and souvenirs and clothes and maybe a gift for so-and-so and you take very long and all of a sudden you don't have anything left in your wallet, that's on purpose. The way that they built it, all of the buildings sort of tilted in. So when you're over here at the castle looking back, it looks so long that you want to take it slow and you want to stop at places and spend a lot of money. That's Disney Imagineering at work. And that's a paradigm. It's the same length. The same length you walk in, the same length you walk out. But it's your perspective. What do you see in this picture? An old lady. Old lady? Okay. Who sees an old lady? Who sees something else? This is a young woman. See a young woman. Okay. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's for you. are right. There is an old lady. We have a nose, and we have sort of this coat. We have this feather popping out. We see this old one with the lips. Switch your perspective a little bit. Pull it to the side, and you see a young lady looking away from us with her eyelash, her cheek, her um. bonnet. And her fur coat, and she's a much younger woman. Depending on your perspective, depending on your paradigm. And they see an old woman, we hear, we see that Mountie likes old women, that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Other people like young women, that's okay too. And some people don't care, they can see beauty in all sorts of ages. I may be dating myself, but who remembers Magic Eye? You guys? Look at it. there is something October themed in there. If you do the magic eye, you sort of have to start and let your eyes glaze a little bit and sort of cross eye, and there's an image that will pop out at you. Not quite. Shout it out when you think you see it there. Is that Michael Jackson? That is a scary thing, but no. I think the visuals You can try after it's. Well, I'll put it up again. Something about perspective, and I was telling me, I was trying to find a better illustration of this ahead of time. I'm not a physicist, and it's very difficult to explain. <clears throat> but the principle is simple. If I have a ball, I'm print out my wall as a ball, I throw it up, 
it comes back down, right? We expect it to, that's how gravity works. But, but, if I am in motion and you're viewing me from afar, it is not a straight line coming down, it's actually a parabola, it's a curved line. If you see movement, it's the same as if someone's in a plane and they throw a ball out, they're going to see this arc in the sky and you're going to see it go up and down, depending on your perspective. You're both correct, one's an arc and one's a straight line, you're both correct, but it's your perspective that's making a difference. So why am I saying all this stuff? Who has ever encountered a Facebook flame war? You go on to people or multiple people are arguing over something, they're throwing invectives, they're, they're saying bad things or good things, or they're arguing over some. Have you ever been part of this where you have a very strong viewpoint on something? I notice from time to time the same people on Facebook argue and post the same types of things. And one of the things that's bothered me recently was people posting repeatedly negative stuff. And then this was their paradigm, this is their way of thinking, is that they would post, for example, the one I saw recently was about Halloween. It was, when you're coming up with your Halloween costume, make sure that it's completely inoffensive and it is not racist or offensive to any kind of groups, otherwise you could really ruin someone's Halloween. This seems kind of extreme to some people, that maybe your Halloween costume shouldn't make someone else completely destroyed if they see your Halloween costume, but some people take it very seriously. But I notice from these same, I'll call them Facebook acquaintances or friends, is that this theme is repeated over and over, this paradigm is repeated over and over, and I wonder if they can actually experience joy, if they can change the paradigm. It's not as simple as, you know, one day the world looks cranky and then the next day the world looks wonderful. It's not quite that simple, but it's about seeing things from different perspectives. The person on the island is very excited to see a boat, and the very person on the boat is very excited to see land. Both are in their own little private hell, but both are very excited to see each other's perspectives. So I'm going to challenge you for the next 24 hours, just 24 hours, until tomorrow night about 7 o'clock, Every time that this negative thought enters your head, any negative thought, switch the paradigm. Oh, I have homework. We'll be grateful you get to be going to school and getting to be great. There was a lot of traffic. I have a car. That's a great thing. I don't have a car. I'll take the bus. <laughs> so, oh, you know, I, you know, I am just, I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Be grateful there's so many options. And you're not having the same thing, just trying to find 900 calories to sustain your life. Time that that negative thought is in. Change your paradigm. Change the way that you think. Change the perspective. See the young woman instead of the old one, or the old one, if that's your preference. But try seeing the other paradigm. Mr. Toastmaster.